Hello, grade 5 learners. Have you ever wondered where life begins? Or how babies grow inside their mothers before being born? Today, we'll explore one of the most amazing systems in the human body, the reproductive system. This system is responsible for the continuity of life. Without it, humans would not exist. Before we dive into our lesson, let's do a quick review. Look at these pictures. They show the stages of the human life cycle. Can you arrange them in the correct order? That's right. It starts with a baby, then childhood, adolescence, adulthood, and finally, old age. But here's a big question. Where does the life of a baby actually begin? That's what we'll learn today. We'll find out how human life starts and what body systems make this possible. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the parts of the male and female reproductive systems, explain their functions, understand how reproduction ensures the continuity of life, Let's unlock some important vocabulary. Reproductive system. This is the group of body parts that work together for reproduction. Reproduction. The process of creating new life. Fertilization. When a sperm cell from a male and an egg cell from a female unite to form a new life. Now let's sort these words. Which ones belong to the reproductive system and which ones don't? Excellent! The female reproductive system has three main parts. One, ovaries, small organs that produce egg cells and hormones like estrogen and progesterone. These hormones control changes in a girl's body as she grows. Two, uterus or womb, a hollow organ where a baby grows during pregnancy. It's like a safe, cozy house for a developing baby. Vagina, a muscular canal that connects the uterus to the outside of the body. It is also called the birth canal because it is where the baby passes through during birth. Think of the female system as a special home, where eggs are kept, where babies grow, and where life begins. The male reproductive system also has three important parts. One, testes. These are oval-shaped organs inside the scrotum. They produce sperm cells and a hormone called testosterone. Penis. This is the external organ that delivers sperm into the female body. Prostate gland. This makes a fluid that mixes with sperm to form semen. This fluid protects and helps sperm travel safely. Now let's compare. The female system produces eggs and provides a place for a baby to grow. The male system produces sperm and delivers them into the female body. When the sperm and egg meet, that's when life begins. That's why both systems are important, like two puzzle pieces that fit together to create life. Here's how reproduction works. 1. A sperm cell from the male meets an egg cell from the female. 2. This meeting is called fertilization. 3. The fertilized egg attaches to the uterus and grows into an embryo. 4. Over time, it develops into a fetus. 5. After about 9 months, the baby is born. So, every one of us started as a tiny cell that grew inside our mother's womb. To understand this better, let me tell you a story called Fatima's Journey to Meeting Zainab. Once upon a time, 
Inside a warm and safe place called the womb, there was a tiny fertilized egg. That was Fatima. At first, she was just a dot, but she began to grow. After a few weeks, she became an embryo. Later, she became a fetus with tiny arms and legs. As months passed, Fatima grew bigger and stronger, until finally, she was born as baby Zainab. This story shows us the beautiful journey of human life, from a single cell to a newborn baby. So, what have we learned today? The female reproductive system produces eggs and nurtures life. The male reproductive system produces sperm. Together, they make reproduction possible, ensuring the continuation of life. Let's test your knowledge. Answer these questions. What organ in females produces eggs? What organ in males produces sperm? What is the process called when sperm and egg unite? Great job! You're really learning! Today, we discovered the amazing role of the human reproductive system. Always remember, our bodies are wonderfully designed, and each part has a special purpose. Keep exploring, keep learning, and respect the miracle of life. See you in our next science adventure. Now, under the guidance of your teacher, complete the following activity.